Kubo and the Two Strings, it's a stop motion hybrid film. Yeah, when I first read the script, I was slightly terrified. And then I was like, wow, we're gonna be really busy. And I was thinking, well, they're gonna, you know, we're gonna try to do most of the practical. So I don't have to, I don't have to worry about too much of it. And then I started reading, I was like, well, how are they gonna do that practical? The water definitely was a little bit of a panic, uh, just because we had never done water at that scale before. The choppy water was a real challenge. It was very stylized. It had these huge scoops in it. We had to figure out how are you going to get these and also make it look like, you know, realistic water so that it was believable. We used a lot of practical rigging tests for the motion, and we wrote some displacement shaders to kind of help the get the stylization into the water. The big wave was a whole nother set of challenges because it was not really moving the same way as the choppy water. So we ended up solving that by just using a big piece of geometry that kind of had a little bit of simulation on top of it. And we used Mari's flow maps to control the textures for the big wave. Yeah, and that, and that helped let it really feel like it was kind of unique and stylized and it wasn't uh, just a, a big realistic wave. We used Katana to pull all of those elements together and render them, and we rendered tons of passes for the water. Again, we all the water was composited in Nuke, so all of these passes got brought back together in Nuke. The rain system that we used was all built in Nuke. And a, a lot of the final look of the film for the water, you know, came from Nuke. We did some unique things in Katana to simplify the character pipeline by like, giving all the characters names and having attributes drive everything, where we could basically type in the character's name and all it would find all of the character's texture files, it would find all of their shaders and attributes and hook everything up. So we were able to kind of go through the characters relatively quickly once we got one or two done, which allowed a team of, you know, three people to kind of bust through, four, you know, 40 some odd characters in a relatively short amount of time. We do out of the ordinary visual effects at Leica. We rely heavily on Foundry tools to give us the flexibility to hit the stylization and the look and feel of our films. I'm amazed every day I go to work to see what other people are doing and that I'm a part of it. It's awesome. I love my job.